Hi, welcome to this quick tip video. Do you have a problem viewing your live camera feed on your Unify Protect system? Well, I encountered this problem and after messing with various settings in Unify, I finally found out what the problem was. So in this video, I'm going to give you a quick tip on what it could possibly be without having to mess around with your Unify Protect settings. So keep watching this video and I'll show you how. So as I said in the video intro, whenever I am in Unify Protect on my PC and select the live view option, which is the four squared icon at the left hand side menu. It's the third icon down. Whenever I click this, all I get is a still image and it's a blurred picture. And in the bottom left hand corner, I get three dots, as you will see, which are just blinking. Now, after attempting to check my Unify network controller settings for, for example, Wi-Fi channels, I was expecting it to be a uh, streaming bandwidth problem. However, in the end, I found a quick solution, which may resolve if you're having the same issue as well. Now I'm using a Chromium based browser on my PC. And in this case, it's Brave Internet Browser. And I found the solution, which wasn't a streaming issue, but it's one of the actual settings in the actual browser. So if you're using Brave or a Chromium based browser that does the same thing, here's the solution. Firstly, what you need to do is click on privacy and security. And then from the privacy and security settings screen, click on site and shield settings. Then, under the site and shield settings, recent activity setting, you will see that there's an option for view permissions and data stored across sites. You need to click on this and then look for the IP address or the name of your local Unify controller or your cloud-based Unify controller, whichever you're using. In this case, and in most standard cases, the IP address will be 192.168.1.1. So what you need to do is look for this IP address or, as I say, the Unify controller website address or IP address and click on this. Then this will take you into the permissions screen for that particular website. You will see that the first option for autoplay is actually block and that's the default option. Now what you need to do for autoplay is change it to allow. Then you can close the settings window. And then if you refresh the web page for your Unify Protect console, you will now see that you'll be able to view the live camera feed. And in this case, I'm using a G4 doorbell. And as you will see, it's now resolved the issue and it's nothing to do with the actual Wi-Fi connection or Wi-Fi channels or congested bandwidth. It's just to do with the setting in the browser. I hope you found this video useful. And if you have the same problem, I hope it resolves the same issue you're having. Thanks for watching this video. Keep a lookout. More videos are coming soon. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye for now.